Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back. The layers of fear. Haven't we done you? Haven't desk. Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. Yes. Oh, this one's open. Excellent. Right, let us carry on. I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and now there you are. Look, oh yeah, we have, we've, we've read that one. It's fine. All right. Oh. Interesting. Oh, okay. Nothing in there. Right here. No. Come here. Okay, nothing. Let's move on. Okay then. Anything in here? Hook, hook the mouse. Okay. I don't like this. This is a, this was a mistake. <laughs> See that there was like a glowy bit there. Not gonna let me through there. Fair enough. Oh hi. I don't like that. In there. Oh, hello. Haunting mimics, knock, knock, knock. Not gonna let them in, only clothes left behind. Hey then. Ah, microphone. I guess I can't reach those. Are you still out there, apple of my eye? Oh good, an empty room. Creator's block. Code of writer's block. Oh.
Yeah, I can't do anything there. Go to shut that. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh, that's me. Oh. You're locked. Ow. June, don't forget. Okay, well. I clearly forgot something. Fucking hell. Yeah. Um, that's what it is. I forgot an anniversary or something and she's mad. Microphone, damn it. Let's return the light on. Okay. Oh. I, I don't think our child's going to be an artist. That's not locked anymore. Interesting. Most people organize, organize their books alphabetically. I like the fact you're thinking outside the box. Yeah. Simpletons, cretins. Everyone's a critic. So that's where I painted, you fucking plant. Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face! I think, generally speaking, when people want portraits, they want a... Uh, not a realistic one. Great. Blind fools. No appreciation for my talents. Now let's go through here. Oh, I like this room. You're locked. Fine. Ah. This 
This is a nice room. Can we just stay in here? Yeah, let's get some light on it here. Perfect. See? That's much better. Nothing there to pick up, that's fine. That a phone? Dear sir, I am. If I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter. And while it is it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion. I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be psychological, but rather purely... What? Oh, physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe case, to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Another fucking quack. No! If 16 of them all said the same thing, my guy. If 16 of them all said the same thing, dude, I'm inclined to believe the doctors. That ring is doing my nutting. Where are I? Where? Ah, oh, there it is. It's not letting me answer the phone. Okay, yeah, we've read that. Maybe another loop. me do anything with the phone. Hmm. We'll try going this way. OK, 
okay with that? Did something different? Hello? Yes, speak. Whoa. Yes, speakers. Hello? Yes, speakers. What? What fire? Oh, God. Is she. Which hospital? I'm on my way. Hey. Wife. Oh, was she, wait, there was a, a fire at a place, wasn't there? One of the documents we read, so she was obviously in that fire. She got out alive, but horribly burned. I know, I think I'm hearing noises from actually in, outside in the real world. Restless memories. Me? Heart, we've told about we've we've been over this. What if I told you about putting furniture on the ceiling? Oh no wait. I'm on the ceiling. Okay, that's my bad dear, sorry. Shattered thought. So, what I'm picturing together here is the combination of me being too in my work and not enough focusing on her combined with the horrific burns might have caused her to go slightly insane. Can't reach that. Guess I have to stand up. Ow. Yeah, I I can't do that. The ceiling in this place is too low. If I shut the door, nope. Oh, 
Oh, no, wait, hold on. Hey, there we go. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay, good. Point. Flapping horror, be quiet, constantly flapping, eating other rats. Do we? Oh. Honey? Um, oh shit. What's that? I, I don't really need a drink right now. No, it's fine. I'm really not thirsty. Maybe, maybe we could just have a nice cup of tea. I didn't. I did not care for that. Hope is the mind killer. Right, I need to be more observant. Last time there were words I missed. Abandon hope while you can. Abandon all abandon hope all ye who enter here, or something like that. In any case, as your lawyer, I, adv I advise you to refrain from any imprudent action. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this, believe it or not. I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this, just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker uh, definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Betray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You still get your door no. Oh, good. Another empty room. Favourite. Fucking <laughs> 
great. I don't know what happened there. At least my wine fountain still works. Floaters, they clog the drains. Fur in the water, no bass for me. <laughs> Lovely. Way is not blocked. if that other door had a bolt on it it did that's what okay You don't have a bolt on you. Oh, hello. Body borrowers feeding on me, driving me insane, too fast to cut out. Yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa, like, whoa, nice romantic candlelit walk to the bedroom. Oh, good. Oh, that's disorientating. I don't like that. No, that, no, let's not go to the basement. Hey, okay. love what you've done with the place. Dangling dread, patient, thirsty, furry leeches, afraid to look up. Oh, no. I 
I don't think I'm in a good state of mind here. Why is it, why are these others uh, melting away? What's going on here? What's happening? Um, can I leave? Guessing no. That was that was that was beautiful, sweetheart. You you I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first I was lost as to how. But then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Oh my god, what did you do? Is your wife in the painting? Is that what's going on here? You butchered your wife and then used her remains in the painting? The fuck? Oh good, we're back here. What is that? Oh, there's all those pages I found. Yeah, we've read that one. Ow! Microphone! Ain't nothing in there. Ed. What if you fail? The fear of failure always holds you back. It certainly held me back in my life. Alright. What will you become now? I don't know what I'm looking at. Got three more to find. I wonder if that means three more episodes, because that seems to be our current rate, which I like. It's neat and tidy, I like that. This game is getting to me though. 
So the, the atmosphere and the, and the scares are really good. I can't wait to see how this ends. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Simulator. This has been Layers of Fear, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.